So hey guys, it's Rob. Um, I had the uh, fun experience of going in for emergency dental surgery today. As I'm recording this, it's the day before my birthday and the day after Omega Spring, or at least the faux Omega Spring that we had where everyone was online because we couldn't be there in person. I started having a toothache probably a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, and it bothered me for about a day and I was thinking I should probably call the dentist and the next day it was completely fine, completely gone, there were no problems. Um, there were times that it would bug me once in a while for a little bit, but then I would forget about it. I've been so busy um, working on you know, work, because I'm working from home these days. Sunday it started getting bad. Um, and I mean, it was, there were times when, toward the evening, when it was getting a lot of pain. I don't know if you've ever had an um, abscess before, but they can be extremely painful. And as much as people, you know, cringe away from root canals, the root canal is much preferable to the pain of not getting one. I still have this big swollen part in my jaw here that's about the size of, you know, your thumb and that's going to be around for a while while this gets better. Well, something I noticed um, is when I was in the dentist chair and they had me laid back and the Novocaine started uh, coming in. Now, and having Novocaine injected into your jaw is an experience. Um, they do really well. The, uh, the dentist is very, very good at this. Uh, so, you know, it was relatively painless. I will say that I really like my dentist. They were very professional. They had everything well sterilized, well taken care of. But, you know, it's still an awful lot to, to go through. You're having a needle stuck into your jaw, and there are a whole bunch of nerves that run in here, and sometimes that needle hits those, and some of them go to your tongue, and some of them go to other parts of your mouth, and it's... Uh, a strange experience to say the least. So there's this thing that happens with your body uh, when you have a trauma to it that's uh, that kind of severe, any kind of surgery or thing like that. Even when you're anesthetized and you can't actually feel it, your body still knows that there's been trauma and it goes into a healing mode. It might, uh, we are in the wind. It might take some, uh, it, it's going to make you tired. It's going to make you fatigued. It's going to use a lot of your energy. And it's going to seem like you're not quite, I mean, maybe coordinated or anything like that. So that's kind of what I'm going through right now. So understandably, that's why I'm going to take a little bit of time. Something that I noticed almost immediately when the Novocaine started coming in and the pain started wearing off, my entire upper body melted. I had been clenching my upper body super tight for quite a while and this it was like I relaxed I hadn't realized that I hadn't realized how much this has been bugging me it's not something I mean, pain is something I have a strange relationship with in any way but um, I've got a prescription for painkillers and um, amoxicillin I'm not allergic to any kind of penicillin, so that's good. Hopefully now I will get some better sleep and uh, maybe some rest and be able to concentrate better. The other thing, I am freaking ravenous. I want to eat all the things. I particularly want to have like sweet and sour shrimp right now and the Chinese restaurant is closed tonight. I've got some shrimp cooking in the oven right now and it's not going to be sweet and sour, but it'll be shrimp and that's you know close enough for for this right now okay dorky stuff when I got the uh, I got the the uh, appointment today it was originally going to be for two o'clock but they uh, figured out that the person before me was going to go a little long so they set it up for 230 and I recognized that that's tooth hurty at the perfect time for a dental appointment. So I go back in a week. It's May the 4th. Star Wars Day. Mm -hmm. 
to get the rest of it done. This was the initial part to get everything out and get it to a point where it can drain and heal and then they'll go back in and do the rest of it and repair the crown. Uh, it's, you know. So I'm all over the place. My birthday, Star Wars day. This is just lovely. I have been working on a project kind of in the background I haven't been telling you about, but uh, I might have to put that on hold for a little while. I'm having some difficulty speaking right now because the Novocaine is still uh, still numbing everything on this side, so I have to be very careful with my tongue. I will try and get to updating more regularly uh, later on, but I'm going to take a break this week and try and get better. Uh, and you know, try and get my strength back. Oh, yeah. Um, this gets a little graphic. I've had root canals before. I've had two teeth that had to come out because of weird structure of my brain, the, or my skull. The uh, um, roots of the teeth were actually growing through my jaw and into my sinus cavity. Um, that was a different experience in and of itself uh, because there was a hole going from my sinuses through the tooth cavity and into my jaw. The first time I sneezed after that, I thought my head was going to explode. Um, but that was done okay. I, I got to learn to like the root canal at that point. This was a molar. And the one thing about molars is they don't have just one root, they have several. This one had three. I could tell he hit an infection pocket in the first one, the second one was fairly normal. But the third one, oh my, um, when he got it opened up, the smell was horrible. Remarkable would be a nice way of putting it. I could feel it down into the space in my jaw. I could feel him digging down there. It wasn't painful because the pain receptors were blocked, but I could still feel the digging. And it was very strange. And knowing how much was there and having the dentist pull back and go, um, there's still more coming. <laughs> it was pretty bad. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to be on the mend for a little bit. But okay. And I have to say that I appreciate my work very much. I have 100% coverage on everything. I'm insured, and I also have a health savings account, which is company-sponsored. I also put in uh, my own amount so that I've got money in there up to fill the deductible, just in case. Uh, but I am very thankful for that right now. And uh, shout out to DSI. Woo. Anyway, I am not going to be doing anything more tonight. I am just going to try and sack out. I'm going to eat some shrimp and try and rest. So, see you guys later.